Coach Marcus Hodges here with ILB Elite Training, and today I'm gonna give you guys a five minute ball handling workout. Whether you're in the gym, or you're at home, or in your garage, there's no excuse why you shouldn't get it done. You already know, man, let's get it. As soon as you guys get in the gym right now, I want you to control your body. So I wanna shift our weight from right to left. As the ball's in your right hand, we're going 20 seconds. So I want a 20 second pound, knee to hip level. And as I'm pounding the ball, I want the ball to stay in that same spot. And all I'm gonna do is simply shift my weight from right to left. Try to have that ball hit the same spot. After that 15 seconds, same thing, left hand. Shift that weight from left to right, right to left. Next, I want crossovers going back and forth. Make sure it's wider than your knee. And as the ball goes to the left and right, I want your weight shift in that direction as well. Going here, 20 seconds. Once again, still warming up. Keep that core tight. Crossing that ball over side to side. Really make sure you guys have a good base. My hips are down. Now after the crossover, I want pound to jolt cross. A jolt cross is gonna be when I use my fingertips to push the ball over or to cross the ball over. So I'm going pound and I'm crossing the ball over just like that. You should hear the, the ball go pop pop real quick. One, one, one. So that jolt cross is gonna be lower. This is gonna be fingertip strength right here. Once again, we're gonna go for about 20 seconds. After we get that back and forth, now I just want no pounds. So take the pound away, and I wanna joke cross back and forth. So I want one, two, one, two, one, two, where you'll have to float the ball, have the ball spend more time in your hands than as it's going back down. Fingertips, and have that joke cross back over. You can get a little lower and speed it up. Woo! Still staying stationary, the last one. Now, I want to pound between and behind. So right now, we're just working on placement. I want that ball to dribble right by your big toe. Then I want up between the legs, and then I want behind the back. Once again, keep your feet on the ground, hips slightly bent, and I want to pound through and behind. Just as we started off with, make sure you kind of sway your body from left to right, almost following the basketball. When the basketball goes left, I'm almost going here every time. Make sure you push that ball back forward by that big toe. Once you get your 10 reps, this is gonna be reps. I want 10 reps to the left. Now let's get our feet moving. So I want splits. We're gonna pound between, pound between. I have this line here once again, once I get my pound and I split, notice my left foot went forward, my right foot went back, but my right foot is here right on its toe, ready to explode if I need to, but right now it's just feet. When I go between the legs, my feet are wide. I'm not in a skinny stance where I can get knocked off balance. I wanna make sure I'm in a wider stance, feet outside of my shoulders. But then once I take this next dribble, my feet replace right back on that line, slightly under my shoulders and under my hips. So I'm going here, down, between, down, between, down and between. Here I wanna get 20 reps total, all right? Try not to have your hips go too high and too low, kinda of maintain that same level. Now I'm just imagining a defender's in front of me. He's turning from left to right, from right to left. So we're going pound crossovers. Really important to have my hips in one direction. And then as I cross, my hips have to turn with the basketball. That's how you're going to be a quicker player and a more explosive player out of the cross. All we're doing here is going down and cross, 
down and cross, down and cross, down and cross. If you're, if you're at a gym, let's go sideline to sideline. If you're at home and don't have much space, let's try to get between six to 10 crossovers and then turn back around. Pushing off that outside foot every time I cross. Push, push, push. Right after our crossovers, we're gonna have the same exact process where we're going between the legs. So as I go towards the right, my inside foot will step. This is gonna be my dribble step. So I'll step here, boom, then go between. I'm in this stance. Once my inside foot once again steps, dribble step, and then I'm turning. So every time it's dribble step, change. Notice everything is in unison together. My body's going forward with the basketball. I dribble, boom, and turn. Once again, the same amount of reps with the crossovers. If you have more space, get more reps. If not, once again, that's six, six to 12 if you can, back and forth. Last rep, we're gonna blend. So if the first rep is a crossover, after that, my next rep is gonna be between the legs. So we're going one and cross, one and through, one and cross, one and through. Notice my back, it's kinda in this slant position. I'm not in this upright perfect position. With your back up, it's gonna be hard to be successful and get by defenders. So let's make sure our hips are down. And once again, my back is slanted in this stance where I'm able to be my quickest and also be able to be able to react by my defenders. And that right there is a five minute ball handling workout to keep your handles tight, keep your hands sticky, whether you're in season or out of season, it only takes five minutes. Now you can go longer if needed, but five minutes is all you need right there just to make sure you got your workout for the day to work on your handles. Coach Marcus Hodges with ILB. You already know, man, let's get it. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like so YouTube knows you're getting after it. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can check out our next videos. See you guys on the next one.